welcome back to part two of the electrolytic gold refining cell and i just wanted to show you uh here's a drawing of what we're trying to achieve here with the uh, electrolytic gold cell this is called the wool wool process and the procedure for it is right here we're looking for uh, uh, the main information is uh, one and a half volts dc Electrolyte is a gold chloride solution with 80 to 100 grams of pure gold and 10% free hydrochloric acid. And we want the operating temperature up to 140 degrees, which is 60 degrees Celsius. The name of the book is Refining Precious Metal Wastes by C.M. Hoke. This book is out of print. They're about 500 bucks if you want to try to buy one, a hard copy like this. But you don't have to do that. I've got a, the book is available as a free PDF download on the internet. Just type in Refining Precious Metal Wastes by CM Hoke. And you'll see here we've got the same exact procedure in the PDF. So there's no need to buy the book. You can get the free download and have access to the book. Before we get started with the experiment, I want to get a weight on the anode bar. I'm just going to unclip this and throw it on our scale. This is our anode bar. Let's see what kind of weight we got on this thing. It's like 311. 3 grams, which is right at 10 troy ounces. Okay, I've got the anode bar connected to the positive side of the power supply. I've got the titanium cathode connected to the negative side of the power supply. So let's add a stir bar in here. Make sure that thing's going to spin free, okay? And it does. Now what we'll do is add the electrolyte in. This is the electrolyte from the pure gold that we dissolved with hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to go ahead and pour it right on in now. solution up. We want to try to get it up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. And now what I'm going to do is I've got some hydrochloric acid here. I'm adding about uh, 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid because that's what the recipe called for. see what the temperature is. We've got 124 Fahrenheit, 51.2 Celsius. So we're almost there. I'm going to start the time lapse. Let's get another temperature reading on this. Looks like we've got 132 Fahrenheit and 55.2 Four Celsius. So what I'll do now is uh, I want to turn the current flow all the way up, and the voltage all the way down. I'm going to energize the power supply now. Shouldn't get any kind of reaction when we do this. And I don't see nothing. I'm at 138 Fahrenheit, about 59 degrees Celsius. So what we're going to do now is turn the voltage up slowly start adding some voltage see what kind of reaction we get here so that's what we're going to adjust this thing to okay 1.4 volts we're pulling 
7.2 amps. So we should get a noticeable uh, change on that cathode as the gold dissolves off of the bar, the anode, travels through the electrolyte, and then begins to deposit on the titanium cathode. I'm noticing a difference the appearance of the cathode as the gold begins to uh, deposit on that cathode plus the anode bar is starting to look like a crystalline structure as it dissolves from the electrolytic action electric current flow is dissolving that pure gold bar the anode traveling through the electrolyte and then depositing the titanium cathode for about 40 minutes into the experiment and things are progressing nicely the titanium cathode is becoming uh, coated with deposited gold and our uh, power supply here is performing nicely I switched the voltage up to 1.5 I misread that and we're pulling 8.8 .8 amps through the electrolytic gold refining cell. It's been running for about an hour and a half and it got dehydrated. So I added some hydrochloric acid. And if you look down here now, we've got the uh, amp current flow up over 9 amps with the uh, voltage at 1.6 there's It's time to shut it down. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to shut this thing down. We're going to turn the stirring off, turn the heat off, shut this power down. I'm going to bring the voltage down and shut the power off. off of here. Now let's get this uh, anode piece out of here. Kind of looks like a shark's tooth. Pretty neat looking. Just put that in a beaker. Cover it with some distilled water. We'll take a look at that later on. I think we're going to get rid of the power supply before we try to disassemble anything else. Just get it out of the way. I'm going to take our beaker with our gold in it, set it down here out of the way. Let's just take our gold. It's on this cap. Stick it in this beaker. Now we're going to
gonna cover up the electrolyte. We can recover the gold from that. This orange liquid back here is gonna have a bunch of gold in it. Here's our, uh, our prize. This is gonna be the high purity. 4.9 is fine, pure gold. So we'll cover this with some distilled water. All that uh, electrolyte will have to be rinsed off of there. These are our three products. The gold chloride solution back here is going to have gold in it. We'll recover the gold out of there. This is the uh, high purity gold that we've uh, deposited on our titanium cathode. It looks spectacular. And I have shark's tooth anode material left over after we uh, got everything to dissolve off of there. We're going to call it here. This will conclude part two of the uh, electrolytic gold refining cell series of videos. We'll pick it up in part three and we'll process all of these uh, solutions and pieces in part three. That'll conclude part two. Thank you for watching.